Hi, I'm Bryce Button, uh, Director of Product Marketing here at AJA Video Systems, and welcome to IBC 2017. We've got some really great products for you this year, uh, starting with our first Thunderbolt 3 product. It's called the IO 4K Plus. Uh, and what we have going with the IO 4K Plus is some really great connectivity. It starts with four 12G SDI ports. Uh, of course, 12G also supports 6G, 3G, 1.5, so you can plug in pretty much any camera. The whole point of having 12G SDI is to simplify your cabling, handle high frame rate, high raster size, and of course, also help you move into HDR workflows, which is a growing need as we move forward. So to help on that front as well, we have true HDMI 2.0 for output. Uh, this is wonderful because it means you can take any of the cheaper 4K cameras, you can take a HDMI 2.0 input, simply plug it in and away you go. A single cable, very easy. When it comes to output again, 2.0 allows you to work with HDR workflows and to do info frame triggering so that your displays automatically work. So taking a quick look on the back here, these four SDI ports are all bi-directional. If you're doing streaming, for instance, working with vMix or Telestream, plug in four cameras, use the software, just quickly swap between it. It's as simple as it gets. For our audio, we now have on the DB25, the ability to hook up eight analogs, and you could do eight in, eight out, or four in, four out. So you've got a heck of a lot of flexibility. To go alongside this, we'll have new desktop software for all our Kona cards, all our I.O. cards, the T-Tap, and it adds some great new audio functionality. You can do voiceover to timeline with zero latency. So stick on your headphones, listen to your timeline, record away you go. You'll also find that the new control panel in version 14 gives you an audio mixer. So you've got three audio channels that you can be monitoring. One could be your desktop. Maybe you've been in that situation where a client doesn't quite know what audio track they want yet. You want to play the timeline, go into a MAM or a web browser and simply audition your audio. You can be doing that while listening to your timeline. At the same time, you could be bringing in audio through the device. So a huge amount of flexibility, a huge amount of power. And I think for all you editors out there, this is going to be a really exciting box. And you should be looking at it as you start looking at the new iMac Pro, of course, the MacBook Pro Retinas and a bunch of machines on the PC side, whether from HP, Lenovo, etc. If you are a dedicated Media Composer editor, the great news is we partnered with Avid. And so there's a new product called Avid Artist DNX IV or 4, and it comes in a, spe a special form, other than just having an Avid sticker on it, it has an extra XLR input, and you're going to be able to use line, mic, phantom power, and actually record to your timelines directly off the front of the device. So if you've been looking for that Thunderbolt 3 solution, I'm thrilled to let you know it's arrived. Uh, the IO 4K Plus will be $24.95 US MSRP. It will start shipping pretty much mid-October. So do go to AGA.com to make your life simpler if you're really getting to grips with what Thunderbolt 3 is about. We've created a Thunderbolt Solutions page and you can look for all our Thunderbolt solutions. So thanks again, I hope you enjoyed the show, and do visit us at aja.com.